Good morning and welcome to Connect Up on Saturday the 1st of October. The thumping sound you can hear in the background is Andrew banging his head on the table. Um, here we are. I thought it was this whiffling stick. <laughs> here we are, it's bells and hankies and whiffling sticks because we here are in the midst of harvest and uh, the Tenterton Folk Festival and all things rural. We are. Yes. Now, speaking of which, yes. um, you're going to talk about... I am going once to. You, <laughs> once you get to it. I know, I know. <clears throat> um, yes, so this is Connect Up. It is the video. And if you open up your Connect Up today, you'll find our opening feature is an article that's been written by the Bishop of Norwich, Graham Usher. And he shares his thoughts and opinions on the world of creation um, and links it to the mini budget. And it seems an appropriate thing to be thinking about at this particular time. So do have a little look, see what he's got to say, and maybe you'll have your own thoughts and responses to that. Yes, and I think we can safely say we are not being political, merely concerned people in printing today what Bishop Graham uh, shared with the Church Times mm. a few days ago. Right. So, today's worship appears in Connect Up, as does tomorrow's worship. So it's all there for you to, uh, well, have use, a look at. Yeah, to have a look at <laughs> and find out information about our services over the next couple of days. Yes, and those services include <clears throat> tomorrow at Tenterden and at Newenden, at Appledore and at Evensong in Stone, Harvest Festival celebrations. If you are going along to any of those, we invite you to bring with you some produce, some uh, tins, packets, cereals, um, anything like that, which we can then use to distribute to the food bank. So please do come along laden with your goodies ready to send off to those who are in particular need at this time. Yeah, and uh, can we put a quick plea in on behalf of Emma Isworth, who's going to be loading up the uh, food bank items from St Mildred's Church on Monday. Um, if there's anybody free who can help in the morning to uh, load all the items into a vehicle, it'll all be taken to Ashford and then uh, they're parceled up. Actually, I think most of our uh, Harvest Festival contributions will be going to the food bank, won't they, this yes. year? Yes, yeah, they are. my yep. understanding, yeah. Mm, yep. So if you're free to help out at St Mildred's on Monday morning, uh, I know Emma would be really grateful. Uh, we'll try and put the time that we need you by in uh, Connect Up uh, on Sunday, tomorrow. Um, and if you could bring any plastic bags so that we can use those to parcel things up, that would be really good too. Yes. Okay. Okay, so coming up now to some of the things that are happening in the next few days. Today it sees Cappuccinos meeting in the Vine. Our bereavement cafe starts at 10.30 and is going on until 11.45. So please do come along for cappuccinos today at the Vine in Tenterden. And judging by the number of people who've signed up, mm. uh, we're all delighted, you're all delighted, that the Sunday lunches are back. Uh, so the first one will be held on, uh, not tomorrow, no, uh, but it will be held a week tomorrow on the 9th of October at 12.30 in St Mildred's Church Hall. The lunches are for those who live alone. If you haven't signed uh, the sheet in St Mildred's, or contacted mm -hmm. Caroline, our church administrator, coordinator, then uh, get on the phone and book a place. It's only a fiver. Uh, and you get for that, uh, what do you get for that? Get a main course of think, pudding yeah, yeah. and I think a tea or coffee. They certainly do. Uh, yep. To follow. So, uh, and of course, great company, which you can't put a price on. So uh, have a look at that. All instructions are in Connect Up today. Yeah, and I think the closing date for that is in fact today. So, uh, right, yes, okay. you need to so make your move phone on. calls yeah. quickly or get your names down as fast as you possibly yeah. can. And we thank, uh, ought to thank June and Chris Teasdale. We do, because they've done uh, a lot of work. For getting this, this back up and running, and all the teams that have uh, re signed to wait on you hand and foot. Yes. Now, also on the 9th, which is next Sunday, down at Newenden, there is going to be a Taze service in the evening. Now, this replaces any even song service anywhere else in our benefice. Um, if you have a look in today's Connect Up, you will see a superb picture of um, 
a Taisei even song that took place once before in New London Church, and it looks it's absolutely so stunning. Yes, yeah. so do come along. Now the service has got singing, it's got silence, it's got prayer, it's got peace, and there are opportunities for candle lighting as well. There's instructions on parking, and also a request that if you would like to sing, if you'd like to join a choir to help lead this Taisei, then please get in touch with Francis Jones, whose contact details appear in Connect Up. So Michael's quiz night is next up, Saturday the 8th of October. In fact, well, it predates the previous item, it which does. was the 9th of October, but never mind. Um, and so if you can form a team to take part in the St Michael's quiz, uh, we advise you to move very swiftly because um, I know quite a few teams have signed up and uh, it may be that uh, they've reached their capacity, but I don't know. It's worth having a look at and making a phone call. Mm. Um if you want to take part in the St Michael's Annual Church Quiz. Now taking place in St Mildred's Church on the evening of Wednesday the 12th is a murder mystery night. So this mm. sounds like good fun, doesn't it? Now this is in aid of the big rap and information about where and um, how you can buy tickets can be found in today's Connect Up. And in Newenden on the 14th of oh. October, there goes the tea, excellent. <laughs> Do you want to mop up? I'll carry this on like a true TV. pro. We're not reshooting this having got this far. Oh, no. Uh, the Rye Bay crew are coming to New Inden Church, um, and this event has been arranged by the Friends of New Inden Church. Um, 14th of October, half past seven, and apparently they're going to entertain us with Songs of the Sea and Sea Shanties. Um, tickets priced at £15, £12 for Friends, and under 16s can come in free. And Excellent. you do get, uh, with your ticket price, an arrival drink with wine or soft drink as an option. Mm, very nice. See oh no, sorry, works. let me rephrase that. What? So your, <laughs> your arrival drink, yes. it's all that uh, coffee being thrown about. Tea. Yeah, you've just obscured mm. half the wording now mm. by putting something else up. Okay. Um, we yes, go. here we go. Right, so included in the ticket price is an arrival drink, so you can have wine or there is a soft drink option. Excellent. Are you all right? Yeah, thankfully no tea, so <laughs> there's no chance of me throwing my hot drink everywhere. No. There we go. So should we carry on scrolling? Yeah, we'll carry on scrolling. I think that's fine now. That that will do. <laughs> thankfully there wasn't too oh, much. here we go. Now, <laughs> given my, my, uh, my, my chance with tea, I'm probably not much good with stained glass, but there we are. Um, stained glass through 900 years is a talk that is being given in Tenterden Church on the 16th of... Um, no, it's the 15th of October. So there are posters around for you to read. There is details of times. Um, this is a really special talk. It's being given by John Briggs, um, who now, or it's John Briggs who, whose bequest, isn't it, to the Friends of Kent Churches, but Sir Paul Britton is actually doing the talk. So do mm. come along. That promises to be a really very interesting talk on stained glass. And Sharon... Uh, Sharon Francis, member of our ministry team, uh, sets out the dates of her forthcoming Christian <coughs> meditation sessions. Uh, they're all Wednesdays. And um, if you go to Connect Up today, you'll find out where they're to be held. It's a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. So um, we, won't, uh, we won't try and repeat them on or to announce them here. Um, the, uh, on the 7th of December, for good people who go to all of them, I guess, <laughs> or most of them, uh, Sharon's going to invite you to her home for meditation, followed by a glass of wine and nibbles. Sounds good to me. Yeah, very Excellent. lovely. Yes, very nice indeed. Now, if you are in Wittersham on the 22nd of October, do come along for a craft fair that will be held in the Village Hall between half past two and half past four. And news of two quizzes. Uh, one, um, this ancient borough is the venue for a quiz. And that's on, what date was that? You've just moved that, oh, there we are. Saturday. The 16th of October. Is that the Saturday? Uh, no, that's a Sunday. That's a Sunday, is it? Yeah, it is, because that is on the 15th, and that's You're on the right. Saturday. You're right, that's on a Saturday. <laughs> so, yes, uh, at the Ancient Borough, a special quiz night on Sunday the 16th. Uh, information about that. And a further quiz night on Saturday the 29th of October. Um, that's going to be at St Mildred's Church. And both of those events are in aid of Christmas cheer and the Big Rap initiatives, which uh, 
set out to help people who are, or families, will be having a pretty tough old time of it this Christmas. Now, something completely different. If you are a veteran or an ex-service community, a Blue Light community, or a Royal, a Royal British Legion member, or one of their family or close friends, then you are invited to join like-minded people for coffee and a chat um, on the last Saturday of each month in Tenterden Church from half past ten. Um, just come along and enjoy that. And uh, hmm. that's um, sponsored by Tesco in Tenterden, so yeah. that's rather fabulous too. And our final item uh, this morning, can, oh no, not quite because we've got Nearly. the birthdays. We still have. Uh, yep. Services of Light are coming up. Yep. Sat sorry, it's Sunday the 30th of October at four o'clock at Wittersham. Sunday the 6th of November at four o'clock at Tenterden. And on Sunday, Sunday the 20th of November at four o'clock at Rolvenden. Those will all be services of light during which we will remember all those who've died during the past year together with others whose remembrance has been requested. So if you would like somebody remembered in those services and as each name is read, we will light a candle uh, for that person. Uh, if you'd like someone remembered in those services, one of those services, then do get in touch with mm -hmm. Caroline and she will take names uh, so that we can uh, remember people uh, whom you love and miss. Um, can you spare a vase? Hmm. That's the question being posed to <clears> us <throat> by the Tenterden Church flower arrangers. Uh, Vicky Dodds and Mary Monkton are after your large vases. So if you have any that you no longer need, then do please get in touch and let them know. And I'm quite sure that they will be happy uh, to collect or to take delivery of your large vases. This is all part Something, of their yeah, initiative, so. isn't it, to um, stop using Oasis, which is apparently, well, it's incredibly bad for the environment because it doesn't biodegrade as far as I at know. all. Yeah. Um, so, um, and actually, if you come and have a look in Tenterden Church this weekend at the harvest arrangements, you'll see that I think pretty much everything is done in vases and without Oasis and looks quite spectacular. It does, yes, yes which reminds us to say, an enormous thank you mm. to everybody that's been involved in decorating our churches for the harvest celebrations. Mm. Much appreciated. Thank yeah, you and well it's done. Been some beautiful, beautiful yes. flower displays apart from anything else. So uh, wonderful mm. stuff. Now we've come to birthdays. Yes. Um, shall I read them out? Because you've got a uh, an interest I do, in one actually. of the people oh, we're right. going to mention. Yeah. Because um, today... Saturday the 1st of October. It's the birthday of a certain Rebecca Kennett. It is. And accompanying uh, Becky uh, in the birthday stakes today is Sarah Worrell. So uh, that's yep. it's her birthday too. And then on Monday, Ruth Gardner celebrates her birthday. And on the following day, the Tuesday, it's Caroline Salmon's birthday. So okay. we wish Rebecca, Sarah, Ruth and Caroline a very... Happy birthday. Right. And there's a prayer for them all in Connect Up today. Are we ready for me to light the uh, little bit? Yes, I've got the banner ready. You've got the banner. Okay. Excellent. All right, here we go. Let's light that then. Way. Right. Here we go. Are we all ready to sing together? We are. Good. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rebecca, Sarah, Ruth, and Caroline. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so we get our money's worth, don't we? We certainly do. There we are. Right. Good. Well. Is that it? Yes, I think we're going to... Um, Trip the light, fantastic, and head off with the uh, Morris the, the dancers. Morris dancers. It's yeah, just, they're warming uh, up in the corner already. With their was it whiffling sticks, Something bells, like that. hankies. Here we go. Stand okay. by your beds. Enjoy it all this weekend, won't you? Yes. Maybe see you at the folk festival. You just never know. I wonder if Caroline will come along this I year. I just wonder. Caroline, our coordinator. I do wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Five pounds to the person who spots her. Yes. Right. Bye. <laughs>
not handy. <laughs> Don't do any more damage. <laughs> <laughs>